you're already doing a G7 chord, but you can also add an extra seven down here, a little bit higher up in the, in the chord, by adding your pinky up to the sixth fret uh, on the second string. So let's listen to that. Another thing you can do is you can take that pinky and you can slide it down to the fifth fret of the second string, and that gives you a major six, which sounds nice. So you can do just the major six by itself, or you can slide from the seven to the six. I'll try sliding from the seven to six just to give you uh, an idea of the difference between the two sounds. And then finally, uh, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at uh, altering the chord a little bit more significantly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my third finger down here so that it is barring. I'm going to keep my first finger here on the third fret of the sixth string just to keep that root going. But I'm going to bring my third finger down here to the, uh, the fifth fret of the fourth string, the fifth fret of the third string, and the fifth fret of the second string. I'm going to bar all those. So I'll be adding that's the octave of the root, this is the fourth, and this is the major six all at once. And as you'll notice, I'll actually sometimes with the bar, I'll also get that fifth fret on the first string, which is a nice nine in there as well. And then alternating between throwing the ninth in there actually gives you some more motion too. Hi, I'm Scotty Moore. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all she came back and handed me the slip of paper and I looked at it and I said, That was Presley. What kind of damn name is that? That's all right. that's all so that starts with an A major chord uh, for the first. Actually, the first four bars are really A. And an A major chord in the fifth position, my first finger's barred across the top two strings of the fifth fret. Well, she done told me, Papa done told me too. Some